I think being unsatisfied with modern medicine or unsatisfied with the options we have or unsatisfied that you can't answer that question quicker or more thoroughly or better is part of what keeps me going. I do think that's a piece of our culture. It's a feeling that we should be able to do this better. The mindset with antibodies in the early 1990s was been there, done that, didn't work. You know, the field was so, so new that a lot of people had given up on antibodies as ever being useful therapeutically. There was no playbook, right? There was basically, uh, folks had to figure out how to do this the first time and do it right. An antibody is the immune system proteins that we have, have many, many, many of in our bodies that recognize foreign invaders. We can generate an antibody in the lab that recognizes that particular protein that we want to have less of around in cancer. The analogy that I like to use is when you're flying on a plane, there is a map of the airline's routes. That map is always really complicated. And what we try to do in biological systems is also to map out that network. And for us to then figure out what are the most important nodes. Just like if you wanted to shut down a particular airline, there are certain hubs that if you shut down, you would shut down that network. And we're trying to do the same thing in cancer biology, is figure out what are the most important nodes to antagonize them, and then see whether or not there's any benefit. You know, Genentech's been successful in antibodies for you know, a number of reasons. I think being willing to take risks, to explore new areas, the overall quality and the rigor of the science I think having expertise in many different areas of biology, technology, clinical, it really does take a village. There will probably come a time in the next five to ten years where cancer patients have their entire tumor sequenced, their kind of normal cells uh, sequenced, and they'll have it on a uh, thumb drive and they'll go to their doctor and say, you know, here's my information. This idea is a uh, particular uh, concept that we've embraced, this whole personalized healthcare concept. We identify the alterations of a particular patient, and then we look for drugs to treat that patient. And we're gonna continue to do more of that.